Hey, this is Jonathan Boshoff, and welcome to my quick tutorial where I'll be showing you how to get started with ChatGPT and Python. If you've never used Python before and you don't know where to begin, this is the perfect guide for you because I'll be showing you how to use ChatGPT to generate a script that scrapes a web page and gives you the headings found from that web page. All you're going to need for this tutorial is ChatGPT and Google Collab. Google Collab is an environment that you can use to test out your scripts. If you've never used it before, just literally search Google Collab, and it's this one right here. And you wanna create a new notebook. It should look something like this, and then you're ready to generate your script. I'm just gonna name this scraper while I'm here. And then we're gonna hop over to ChatGPT and enter our prompt. So I already made this prompt ahead of time because I had to test it out. But basically, uh, there's three components to this prompt, and I'm going to break it down for you here. Number one is that I'm looking for a Python script for Google Collab. It's good to specify the environment that you're using, because sometimes they'll have different settings and it might not, not always work, which can be discouraging if you're just getting started. The next thing that I have is clear instructions. So I've got three clear instructions here that explain exactly what I'm looking for, which will help chat GPT get it right on the first time. If you have a simple idea and clear instructions, chat GPT can do it no problem. For your first try, I recommend you just do this exact prompt. I'll post it in the description and you can literally create the same script that I'm doing in this video just to test it out for yourself. The third component, I'm just asking for the full code. And I'm saying, please, <laughs> ChatGPT can sometimes be stingy, but if you ask nicely for the full code, there's a much better chance that you will get it working on the first try. So once we're ready, we just hit send. And here we go. It's making the script for us. So all I need to do is copy this script, paste it into Google Collab, and then hit run. And what it will do is it will install the library. So this library is called Beautiful Soup. You might have more than one library depending on what you're trying to make. Um, but the first step with Python is always to install any necessary libraries before it can actually run the script. And a library is kind of like a plugin or an app. It basically extends the functionality of what the script is able to do. So in this case, we needed Beautiful Soup to do some stuff, so we installed it. And the script ran, and it's asking me to enter a URL. So I'm just going to hop over to my blog and grab a URL here. And I'm going to paste it into Python here and hit Enter. And here we go. It has scraped my headings. And I'll show you here. Just grab this one. There it is there. Um, so it scraped all the headings and outputted it, which is useful for SEO. Uh, which is what I do for a living. Um, but basically, the moral of the story here is that uh, you can get started even if you have no idea how Python works. You can just generate a script with ChatGPT and test it out. And it's pretty easy to get started. I started making scripts uh, about three months ago. I still really don't know how to code Python, but I've been able to build a couple of pretty cool scripts. And now I'm even building web apps, even though I do not know how to code. Um, so that is the, that's the power of these tools. If you learn how to use them, you literally just need to get started and start messing around and testing things out. So like I said, for the first run, just do this exact prompt. And then for the next step, try coming up with your own script and testing it out. I'll show you one more quick thing here, which is how to troubleshoot. So I'm going to intentionally break my code here. And what will happen is it will no longer work. And then we'll ask chat GPT to troubleshoot it for us. So I broke the code. I'm going to run it again. And it should give me an error in a second here. Apparently not. Apparently I didn't break the code enough. Okay, hold on. I'll break it even more. There, that should be really broken. Okay, 
There we go. So the script is very broken now and it does not work. And what I'm going to do is ask ChatGPT to troubleshoot my obviously very broken script. So I'm going to go, I got an, an error. Here is my code. And ChatGPT will be able to easily see what's going on and it'll just give you the fixed code. So I will try plugging that back in. And it should work this time around. But basically that's the process is if it doesn't work, you can just troubleshoot it with chat GPT on the fly and give it feedback. You can either give it your broken code and say what's going on, or you can even give it the error messages that are outputted. Both are useful and that's part of the troubleshooting process. You should definitely expect to run into some issues as you're building things. It's just part of the learning process. Uh, but that's, that's it, pretty much. If you're interested in learning how to do more cool stuff like this, you can follow my newsletter. Um, I post new AI-powered SEO strategies every week, which can help you do your job easier and faster if you're in the SEO space. Or maybe you're just interested in learning how to build cool things. Um, or you can follow me on LinkedIn as well. I'm quite active on there. Uh, so that's it for this tutorial. Hope it helps. Give it a try and open the doors to your future of making Python scripts with ChatGPT. <laughs> Hope you have a great day. Thanks.